Oh yeah, episode 5. Welcome everybody to the new section slash new episode of our Noisier Inspired Track From Scratch series. Today we're working on the drop instrumental sub, which will kind of explain itself later on in the video. Basically it's a stripped down version of the drop with heaps of sub and more drum break goodness. So let's get into that. Uh, let's play what we have so far before we begin these shenanigans. I completely forgot, I changed the section to go with the drop melody, chord progression, bass progression, whatever. Yeah, literally just different notes. But anyway, I'll shut up, let's continue. <laughs> CPU. Yeah, let's not have ozone on for the rest of the time we're making the track. Sweet as. Um, small side note, the drop is not done. Uh, I'm gonna do a tweaks episode on thickening up the drums and thickening up the bass. Uh, that will be later on in the series, but I kind of want to keep going with this track and adding more structure things, because, I don't know, I like uh, working on the structure. So we're gonna work on this new section and then we'll come back to making everything better later on. But anyway, this section... Especially that bass, that... That needs to be better. Anyway, we're gonna carry the drums across. Also the hi-hats. And more... Hats? Is this our drum break? No. We could, we could carry that across though as well. Why does Ableton do that sometimes? Selects the randomest spots. Um. Is this our, this looks like our hi-hats. I'm gonna turn that bit up anyway because I think that is a classic noisier thing to do. And change the pattern so it's not that. <laughs> Um, actually this can go down an octave, where are we, uh, 5 to 8, 5 to negative 8, that's what we need to do, negative 7. Okay, let's work on these snares for the meantime, maybe it's that. and turn that down. So good! Okay, where's the fast hi-hats? Is that them? Because I think we should add them. Right, it's very bare basic at the moment. We need more intro things perhaps. Let's just actually take all those intro things and see what happens. <laughs> Shout out Max for Live, whatever just happened there. <laughs> oh, we could we could bring this section back. We'll bring it back and it will sound sick. Oh, that snare could work. What are you doing, Max for Live? I'm not. Have I got anything Max for Live open at the moment? It's gonna be a fat sub underneath that. It's gonna sound so good. More drums. 
Would that sound weird or not? Digging that paddy tank in the background. <laughs> Don't like how that suddenly just came in. Where is the low pass? There it is. <laughs> Can we make this wide? All right, it really needs that sub slash deep bass in a second. Which is right here. Can we just poach this? What is happening to my mouth? <laughs> that is me when I get an idea. Hopefully, we're gonna have this and the sub playing like super punchy bass sounds. And then another bass ting in there, and then there, and that should hopefully carry on to there. And then, where's our sub? And our DMB channel, how convenient. Sub, yes, I've actually labeled it sub. Way too much to add this. Yeah. And then this pattern and the higher notes. Do these need to be legato? Yeah. So what that does is like extends the note to the start of the next note which is convenient. Oh, now it's super punchy, yes. Super punchy and lengthy. Does that even <laughs> make sense? Let's add it to this. Yep, legato. In a smooth flowing manner without breaks between notes. That is exactly what it's doing. Let's hear what it sounds like. It's got a little bit too much gap between the notes. No, there. Or should we just have solid notes there? Whatever that accidental thing that the note was extended, I kind of like that, so I'm gonna continue that. And then have that note again there. Next section, please. Actually, no, we haven't finished with this one. I want more drums and I want different drums. Because if you listen to Noisier, they always switch up drums for different parts. I heard a really like a kick and an open hi hat at the same time. That could be cool. Cool. I can't wait to work on the episode where I'm blending all the drums together nicely. They're fairly like rigid and not cohesive at the moment. So I can't wait to work on them and actually make them glue together and sound sick. Actually let's drag in the volume automation sidechain. That is not that. Why isn't this?
Is it doing kick and snare? Oh, that's a huge factor. Oh, everything's gonna sound whack without it. And too distorted and just not enough room for the drums. We gonna fix that. Where's the snare side chain? Snare, snare. I think it sounds pretty cool without snare side chain actually. Let's consult that later in the final tweaks episode. As long as we've got the kick side chain with the bass, it should be all good for the meantime. Anyway, I want to copy this across to put on this channel. Like that. Another classic noisier thing is introducing subtly something on the snare. Like that, no, not like that. Like a snare ring. What? Is that? I'm guessing it's around there. Uh, for the right note of our song and then introduce them on the snares Bring it in slowly That section That sounded kind of cool, but it was too gritty All right, let's change up the snare for this section. This could backfire so hard. We spent ages perfecting the snare and now we're about to ruin it. That's, I can hear the side chain, no, I can hear the lack of side chain in the snare sounding too muddy and gross because it's not being side chained at the right time. So let's bring it in. There, there. Just had an idea. We have the best of both worlds. I really like the body and low end punch of this one. So we're gonna switch it there and then just fade these two together and hopefully it works. Fingers crossed. Oh no. There, there. I don't know if that's a complete disaster or a success. Kind of like it, kind of don't, but I'm gonna drag that onto a new channel. Have this have a real quick fade out. There we go, that's better, that's instantly better. Oh my goodness, that solved all our problems. <laughs> that sounds sick, I think. Where's that snare that I was silly introducing? I can't remember what I did with it. That's gotta be it. Okay, maybe this needs some more grit because we've got some ringy snare on the um the 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 the, the snare at the moment. That needs more <laughs> why not pedal? Uh, it needs more change slash modulation. Uh, 
now let's add the side chain to I keep calling it side chain it's not really but let's just call it side chain for the meantime so I can actually okay see how the sound Uh, Automation Ableton's got this great thing where, <laughs> and before it just doesn't work for me, um, where you can, nope, yep, and nope, why is it bouncy all of a sudden? It used to be able to just like, yeet it, is that it? Why is it bouncy? I want it there. So can I, yeah, there we go. It kind of squished the bottom out a bit. Sorry if I terribly explained that, but I honestly did. So instead of going to like negative whatever the hell the bottom that is, uh, it goes to negative 23. That's still a lot. Maybe we can change that a little bit more. I want zero, no, zero, there. Would this fit? Low pass maybe? Oh, that's... Does that just muddy up the bass too much? That sounds cool. Bit of rebuild on that never hurt. And we can increase the ping pong delay. I should really arrange everything so it's all nice and neat in this project file so I can easily get to what I want to work on next without being like, oh crap, where is everything? But that's half the fun. <laughs> no, it's not too boring. Oh, that's got a fat low pass. Let's adjust that portamento so it's not doing crazy pitch bending when we don't want it to do crazy pitch bending. And just sold notes. Hopefully, hopefully we can automate this. What? Has it got, no way, no, oh my goodness. Why has it got, the, uh, uh, that? has this sub got pitch bent as well? Fun fact of the day, I have no idea. I must've added it early on. Oh, that sounds rubbish now. Is that right? <laughs> Sounds right at this time, but I'm not too sure if it is or not. Fix it later on if it needs be. Uh, Alright, let's add these. So I got an idea for this section, a lead for this section actually I should say. Distorted, it's great. Is this a classic, I feel like this is a classic Rob Swire encoder lead. Last song on Pendulum's Immersion album. Uh, reverb. EQ. Low pass. Why don't we just use a low pass filter? There we go. That is horribly out of tune. Distortion. Here we go. See if it works. So loud, so yuck. What? No, D sharp, that's right. I should really have that in the right notes. Otherwise it's sounding fucking trash. Scale. C minor. Change that to D sharp. And let's get it. Heaps of reverb, something, 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 Bob's your uncle. <laughs> oh, high note. No. 
No, maybe just this part. I feel like we need a lead there, but I don't know what to add. Why not? Let's try that. Is that even working? I kind of like the principle of it, like glitchy elements, heaps of reverb, not quite the full frequency spectrum. Is this it? Yeah. Maybe if we get rid of those distorted parts and then just keep in like the glitchiness of uh, the other elements, then it could work. Where's the reverb? Oh yeah, since it's glitch hop it's swung, so hence why everything is a bit swung out. We pitch them up, eight, octave up, fancy. I don't think, I don't think those notes work. So, bye, sorry. Um, what am I looking for, erosion. Is it working or isn't it? That was a mid side EQ, got rid of the sides, made everything a bit more mono and centered. Just had another thought, let's pitch this up. That doesn't sound noisier enough, let's add another tape. Why not? I want this to play somewhere here. I just had another idea for the build up. It's not noisier, but it kind of works. So not noisy, but it's cool. What? Oh, that is fucking cool. Sick. <laughs> when you get chuffed about your own track, unless we just like chuck this in here. Forgot about this bit, does it sound good? Oh, too soon. Oh, there's another build up part that I want to add there. I forgot what it is. 
Is it? I feel like it's that red serum. <laughs> Tis indeed red serum. <laughs> uh, this bit. <laughs> That is way too high piercing, so we're gonna turn the fuck down on that and wrap up this video. That segue. I think that is it for this episode. It definitely turned out longer than I anticipated, as with every single freaking episode on this series so far. To be fair, I'm happy with where it's at now. It's sounding really cool, and I'm glad I didn't just be like, oh, the first drop's cool, I might as well stick with that. Nah, perseverance, try another thing, see if it works. It did in this case. So yeah, let's listen to it with Ozone on, say our goodbyes, and then catch you guys in the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed. All right, you guys have a great day. Let's listen to this track from start to bit. Yeah, let's go build up. Catch you guys later, peace. Oh yeah, next episode coming soon. <laughs>